Uh, let's look at this question. The question is uh, find if sorry if, if x is a real number, find the minimum value of this function. 3 to the power x squared minus 4x. So let us think uh, about it in a logical way. Now what they're saying is, in other words, when would this function become minimum? Or for which value of x would this become minimum? That's the question. So we'll write like this. Uh, for 3 to the power x squared minus 4x to be minimum, what should become minimum? To be minimum, what should become minimum? This has to become minimum, okay? x squared minus 4x has to become minimum, has to become minimum. Now, this is a quadratic function. So, x squared, now, I'll show this in a graphical way. Say, if you graph this as calculus students or as math students, you should know how to graph this. So if you graph this, suppose let us factorize this. So let me use, suppose if you factorize this, this is x times x minus 4. So you know that the x intercept the parabola, or this can also be written like this. This is nothing but x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 4, which is nothing but x minus 2 squared minus 4. So here the vertex, so this is uh, two ways of doing it. Say so here from this I can say that the x-intercepts are 0 and say so this is 1, 2, 3 and 4. So this is the x-intercept. This tells me the vertex, uh, this parabola has moved 2 to the right and 4 down. Or so vertex I can say is 2 comma 4. So the parabola, so let me make this a bit slightly bigger. So if you graph this, so this is say minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. So this is your vertex. This is 2, this is 2, and this is your 2 comma, this is your negative 4. So 2 comma negative 4 comes here. So these are the three points. So the parabola would be somewhat like this. Okay, I'll draw, try to do give ju best justice to the parabola. So this looks like this. So this is the parabola. So this is your vertex. Or this is a turning point. So at this point, you have got your minimum. So when x is 2, your minimum value is 4. Okay, so here you can say therefore minimum minimum is two comma four. So this the minimum of this value is four. So in other words, what can we say? Uh, this is x. This has to become four. Okay, so the minimum will become. So this becomes minimum when x is 2. That means this function becomes 4. Or in other words, when x is equal to 2, we get minimum of 4. We get minimum of 4. And what is the minimum? The function becomes minimum at negative 4. Okay, sorry, this is, should be negative 4. I made a mistake, a vertex is 2 comma negative 4 here, sorry. So the minimum is 2 comma negative 4. The vertex is 2 comma negative 4. The minimum is negative 4. Okay, so what can we see? Okay, so the minimum is 3 to the power. This becomes minimum at 3 to the power negative 4, which is 1 over 3 to the power 4 which is 1 over 81.
1 over 81 is the minimum value of this function. Or in other words, when this becomes negative 4, this whole thing becomes negative 4, you get the minimum of this function. I'll show you this on a graphic calculator. Suppose this is a graphic calculator. Suppose if you make this a function, var is equal to 3 to the power x squared minus 4x. This is a very interesting graph. So let us grab that. And I'll show you graphically that that's the answer. Okay. So if you go to graph and type in uh, in y1, you can go 3 raised to x squared minus 4x, just like that. And then graph it. See that graph is very interesting. So if you want to see better, so let me make this a bit. Uh, so minus 2. Yeah, it must not make any difference as such. Okay, so this is a, pra it's like a, parabola but it's not a parabola it's a uh, it's uh, like a parabola so the minimum is somewhere here is very close to zero so if you put g sol and if you do minimum at two you get the minimum of this number and this number is nothing but uh, 1 over 81 okay i'll show you that so remember this number which is 0 0.01234 that's very good number 0 0.0123456 okay I didn't know that 567 you don't have 9 so let us go to uh, run so 1 divided by 81 okay that's very interesting okay 0 0.0123456789 so you don't have 8 okay I don't know why you don't have 8 there so it is from 0 to 9 except 8 and then again it's repeated I think so okay so let me do one more question if you want to solve this root of uh, 3 to the power x minus 18 divided by 3 root of 3 to the power x is equal to 3 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let to make life easier let m is equal to square root of 3 to the power x. So this becomes m minus 18 over m is equal to 3. So I don't like cross multiplying. I'm going to multiply. I want to get rid of this 3 m. In, to get rid of this m, I'm going to multiply this with m. So I have to also multiply this with m. So I have to also multiply this with m. So the m will get cancelled. So what remains is a quadratic equation. m squared minus 3m minus 18 is equal to 0. So if you factorize this, this is m minus 6 times m plus 3 is equal to 0. So you've got two m's. One is m is equal to 6. Or m is equal to negative 3. Now m is nothing but the root of so square m 3 to the power x is equal to 6 so i want to square both sides so 3 to the power x is equal to 36 so now you got a power as a variable so to hit it with a log let us hit both sides with a log so log of 3 to the power x is equal to log of 36 you can write natural log so that is x log 3 is equal to log 36. So you can divide both sides by log 3. So x is log 36 divided by log 3. So what's the answer? Log 36 divided by log 3, which is 3. Point 3.26, uh, whatever that number is, 3.26 in 2 dp. So the one, so I'll write the whole thing. So I'll save this as a to explain that later on. And say this is alpha a. This is how you save in memory, execute. And then if you go alpha a, that will 
calculator will remember A as this number. So I'll write 3.66 dot dot and that's an A to check the answer later. So X is 3.26. If you want to write in 2DP, of course, that is 3.26. For my memory, that is my A. Okay. Now what happens in the next case? Next is very, uh, very interesting. So yeah, square root of 3 to the power x is equal to negative 3. Okay. So yeah, if you square both sides, 3 to the power x is equal to 9. So 3 to the power x is 3 squared. This is pretty easy. x is equal to 2. So we need to check our answer whether which of the answer is making sense. So you've got two answers. One is A and the other is 2. So we need to put the answer back into this equation. So how will you check? So I'll check like this. Shift square root of 3 raised to alpha A. Okay, minus 18 divided by shift square root of 3 raised to alpha A. Should give me 3. That's 3. But what happens if you put 2 there? Okay, so for that you don't even need a calculator. So the first answer is right. So if you put 2 there, what will happen? So let's check that. Square root of 3 squared minus 18 over square root of 3 squared, which is square root of, so this is square root of 9, which is 3 minus 18 over 3, which is 3 minus 6, which is negative 3. So this answer doesn't work because when x is 2, you're not getting plus 3. If it was plus or minus 3, if, if it was minus 3, the second answer would have worked. Okay, So here we can say, but x, but you can write like this. But if x equal to 2, then equation is not true. The equation is not true. Therefore, you can say x is equal to 3.26 in 2 dp. Okay. Uh, I want to do a few more examples. Uh, see you in the next video.